Midjourney just launched version 7 today. Let's compare this with version 6.1 now. We'll be using our trusty prompt from mjpromptguide.com from the pop art poster category. There's quite a lot you can browse through and to choose from. Let's use this one and generate in Midjourney. Midjourney version 6.1 almost always have difficulties generating images with characters holding cigarette to the mouth. Midjourney version 7 has a slight improvement when it comes to that issue. Still has some ways to go. But now let's put this image through ChatGPT 4.0 using this prompt. Analyze this image and tell me what type of product will be suitable to have this image as an ad. ChatGPT will give a whole slew of suggestions. So we'll pick the most appropriate one and ask it to use that image as is. And add additional material on it to make it an ad for a luxury fashion product. Now notice that ChatGPT 4.0 has cleverly corrected the strange way of holding the cigarette and it actually fixes it. Though ChatGPT 4.0 tends to change the look of the original image most of the time. Also, say goodbye to Canva. See how good ChatGPT 4.0 turned the image into a convincing ad. Now we'll just grab another great prompt from mjpromptguide.com from a different style collection and see how MJ version 7 compares with version 6.1. Even though we requested for a T-Sum Sum toy style, Midjourney version 6.1 fails to deliver. However, Midjourney version did slightly better in terms of prompt adherence. So now let's ask ChatGPT 4.0 to make an ad for using this image. Let's see what it comes up with. ChatGPT 4.0 did a great job creating an ad for back to school products. But notice that there are differences from the original image that are just hard to ignore. Nevertheless, the ad created looks really good when converting it to a video using Minimax. So, what will you be creating with Midjourney version 7 and ChatGPT 4.0? Write down in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.